Federal and state officials met in Ohio today to, to deal with a pesky plague that's been spreading all summer all across the country. Bed bugs are back and forcing government officials and homeowners to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to kill the pests. Here's Lindsay Davis. Overnight bed bugs have become so much of a concern, several of the states are calling on the big guns for help. At least five states are pleading for money to get rid of these bloodsuckers. Representatives and experts from a long list of government agencies, including the Department of Defense, have come to Columbus, Ohio to talk bed bugs, and one house in particular. Hopefully we're going to see more um, resources devoted to various things, such as you know, the educational uh, things, resources perhaps to help pe people who can't pay for treatment. Akron was so desperate, they petitioned the government to allow in-home use of a pesticide banned for its effects on the scalps of its users. This picture shows how bad it got for one person. This is a resurgence all across the board at this point, so it's a very serious problem. In Lexington, Kentucky, bedbugs forced people out of their apartments. In Fort Worth, Texas, the housing authority spent $43 million to rid this apartment building of the pests. It didn't work. And in Akron, the possible ground zero for the outbreak has been traced back to one attic dwelling resident. Contrary to their name, bed bugs aren't limited to beds. This Times Square movie theater is back open after shutting its doors Tuesday night to deal with the paranoia and panic-inducing parasite. Bed bugs tend to be nocturnal. They hide in cracks and crevices often in and around mattresses. They are visible to the eye. They bite humans. And it's painful. The retro pests were eradicated from the U.S. around the end of World War II, but from this attic on Lloyd Street, they have been making a comeback. Effective as they once were, say, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, the immunity makes them more difficult to treat. A painful pest that has many people this summer scratching their skulls. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, Akron.